trees, power lines, roofs, all objects that were thrown around in the storm, leaving Monroe City buildings damaged. Wiring damage. There is a gash, like a, a hole, a 10 inch hole in the roof that we are working on getting repaired. This is a ornamental cherry tree that has some uh, rot in the trunk and the wind was just high enough that it blew it down. It also blew her front door in. Bill Coleman was driving home in the storm when he noticed a church member's tree knocked down in her yard. He came back to help. We experienced a tornado, you know, a few years back. We're kind of accustomed to this. So now we've got a plan in place so when it happens, we're ready to mobilize and utilize and get the job done. High winds came through, caused a lot of damage. We had some roof damage on some structures here in downtown Monroe City. A lot of power lines down due to um, a line, trees falling down on the lines and uh, probably some flood damage too because we were without power for so long. The city's main electric grid went out when the storm hit. Electric crews used emergency generators to give parts of the city back power. The team worked all night to get the electricity back on. Emergency Management Director Jeff Spaulding has also been working on and off the clock since the storm started. Um, the city is back to the grid power. Now we are identifying areas of town that are without power due to um, main lines being down. City workers were out all night and morning helping residents get rid of debris. This street here was closed last night for a couple hours, but they came in quickly and got everything out of the way. There is a lot of damage and they've called in help resources from outside of town. I think they're doing a good job. Still, it's going to take time to get the city back to normal. A lot of work, big task ahead of us. We're all in a cleanup mode right now. Chris Nagiri, KHQA News, Monroe City.